Right, week two of playing golf every week until I reach single digits. Quick recap from last week, our putting was on absolute fire. Oh my goodness. However, in the same round, my chipping was dreadful. <laughs> As you can see, scratching my head on that one. So the plan for this week is simple. We're gonna get some practice in, with the main focus being on chipping. And then we're off to play the lovely course that is Omaha. And the goal is to break 90 and get one birdie. And hopefully by the end of the week, we would have lowered our handicap. So out here on the short game, practice a couple of wedges for the day. Joined with uh, Ted today. So the chipping drill for today is we're going to take 10 balls, moving slightly further back from the green each time and try and get them on the green. Opted for a modest target of five out of 10. Oh, I mean, it's, it's on, but it's, <laughs> it's miles past. I mean, you can't complain about the grouping. <laughs> We, we play in middle pin, are we? <laughs> oh, that could be good. Oh, no. Let's move into the back ones now. Oh, no. The first chunker. Don't know. Could be... Could be close this one. You wanted six, I wanted five. All right, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, right, six, seven. Seven, four. I take the first leg. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, one, one, one shitty chunk shot. Other than that, I'll take that. Battling for sunlight, we went into the second leg. Uh, Ted chipped on and Ted started strong. And I followed suit. Ted unfortunately missed the next couple, which allowed me to gain a little bit of a lead. And then, sadly, the camera died. So I did some putting. Uh, this drill was a little bit too dark, like oh, this go on. putting. Go on. Oh, what a putt. All right, 10 balls. Goal is to have no free putts. So par to start and then birdies for the rest. See if we can go two under. All right, got the par. Oh, got the first birdie. Oh, second birdie. Ooh. Look at that roll there. Well. Wow. Oh, that's short. Actually, probably better to go short than it is anywhere else. Ah, uh, this is going to be hard. Ah, oh, no. Damn it, minus one. Come on, snap, 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 snap. Ah, uh, gone too far out there. This is not a good putt to miss. You miss here, you're, you're well long. Just got to commit to the centre of the cup here. And we've done just that. Right, last one, minus one. Still good score on this, to be fair. Oh no, it's too low. It's too low. Gonna finish on even. Hey, minus one, that is not bad. Okay, we're gonna go into the range now and try and do that uh, swing which Cam has sent us through, which I probably will show now. Yo, bro. Instead of the club coming back and it's sort of getting like here where the club's quite deep across the line and the face is shut, can we try and just get the club a little bit more in front of us here and then a little more laid off on this angle here? So instead of it being like over this way, trying to get it a little higher up, a little bit more laid off over here, which should then hopefully help tidy up and square up the wrists. <laughs> After saying last week that we weren't going to change the swing, I've sent him the video of um, a couple of my misses on Sunday and he suggested that we do make a couple of changes uh, so I'll try flying off here that did not feel great
I decided to leave that one until our next lesson with Cam because I felt I wasn't doing it correctly and probably going to make myself worse if anything. So I thought I'd finish with the drill from last week, which is hit drives until I miss the fairway, then I go home. Current record, zero. <laughs> Better than last week, we've got one. Oh, and there's there the go. massive slice. So five's the new record. Not ideal. So we, we were just about to try and head out. Oh god. Hopefully it clears up by Sunday. All right, we've got a quick break in the downpour, so we're gonna head to the range. New um, trousers off Timu, <laughs> $27. What do we think? I don't think too bad. Right, and today's range session will be our virtual round against Helmore. Uh, obviously, we're one 0 down in the series, but you know, it's only one, it's only one round so far. Um, so he's going to have a one-shot lead this time instead of the two shots. Uh, I'm just hoping that the range can pick it up because you know sometimes when it's wet and uh, it doesn't quite register. Quick update on where we're at with the coaching and the swing change so earlier in the week um, Cam credit to him did send me a quick video on something which I could try uh, before our lesson uh, I did obviously try that and I think um, going off my last experience of using a video and then trying to self put myself in those positions uh, I thought it would be best to just uh, wait for a lesson with Cam to go through it we booked in with Cam for next week so we'll have a lesson with Cam and hopefully I'll take the camera there and we can see uh, what we're actually doing um, with the swing. But yeah, hopefully your guys' golf is going well. Um, let me know in the comments and also let me know of any drills. I'm still looking for more drills. So I'm kind of just making some of them up as I go. Um, but yeah, anyone who's got any specific drills, I think anything to do with wedges would be great because uh, they were previously pretty strong for me, but recently they've been quite costly. Here's we got the watch back on, so I changed that to meters after last week's uh, absolute nightmare of playing the whole thing in yards. I was wondering why I was hitting some of the shots long, man. Even still, it still helped a lot. I mean, it was still good to be able to plan ahead and like track down and all that kind of stuff. So uh, hopefully we don't have a ton of rain on Sunday. Right, we've turned up. Um, the rain is still going pretty strong. Car park looks pretty full, but there wasn't too many people in the bays, so uh, I don't know if that's a good sign or not. We may just be heading straight back home. So week two, we are playing the Spanish Bay course off the white tees. Unfortunately, I forgot to plug the mic in properly, so we have no sound here. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of shots. After the stinker from last week, we put in an absolutely solid round, probably the best one so far. All right. He's beating me on that. There's just no way. That is 1-1 one, one in the series. <laughs> it's got to be. Squandered it on that last um, chip, though. That was a very, very solid round. If you guys want to get amongst the virtual golf, uh, go ahead, follow me on Instagram. I'll post out uh, what course we're going to be doing next week. Yeah, if any of you do submit a score in the week, I'll feature it in the video and uh, put it as, like, the maybe the average if there's multiple people will just average so it'd be me Helmore and then online it's a good little way of training because it's like again you're kind of simulating a bit of pressure because you're wanting to beat everyone and also you're not just hitting the same club over and over which a lot of us higher handicappers do yeah no drive seems to be going all right can't miss to the left at Omaha uh, although with this rain we just got to hope that the round still goes ahead did you want to lead the lead the scoring since you are current champ yeah and you've got but you've got one stroke throughout the nine, right? Okay. So I parred hole one. Uh, yeah, I parred as well. All right, bit of a par train for you here. Yeah. I birdied five. Oh, you smashed it then. I bogeyed six. I birdied six. <laughs> 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 um, par for seven. I birdied seven. Oh, yeah, okay, fine. Par for eight. I birdied eight. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I bogeyed nine. You went four pars, four birdies. Yeah, yeah, and then finished on a bogey. I think you won that one. 
<laughs> that's one one, and uh, next week you're back to your two shots at least. That wasn't even a competition. <laughs> what, was that? what was that gross under then? You like three under? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're going to make a little putting green here. Extend it a little bit here, and then this is going to be, hopefully, a nice little putting area for myself. So I have finished this little project. Uh, you can go and check it out over on my Instagram, and hopefully it'll help us in the future. Getting the teddy to pick us up. But what a morning. So far, so good. Next week, we've got a lesson with Cam again to try and address the swing change. But today, just hit the ball and do the best that we can with what we've got and hopefully my putting is as good as last week because that is something which would be outrageous. If you get 32 putts or under, that'd be great. Still pretty early in the morning, but a nice two hour drive up north and it turned out to be an absolutely lovely day. So the rain in the week and the forecast was nothing to worry about. Anyway, heading across to the first tee. Unfortunately, the camera cut off. But I used the driver and I hit it off to the right hand side leaving myself with a 52 degree to try and get over the tree, but I pushed oh, it off God. to the right. Early on in the round, you do not want to get any big scores, so I'm opting with the nine iron, just trying to bump it forwards and roll it up to the green. And that was pretty perfect, and we managed to get on the green, so we've got a chance for par, which would be awesome. Not sure what was going on with the recording, however, I missed my putt, but this is Ted testing the greens. Ooh. So they're pretty quick. I end up getting in for a bogey. Hole two, 323 meters, par four. Again, plenty of space to miss out right, so we're going to keep the driver in hand. And actually managed to clear the bunker and go onto the fairway on the other hole. Actually left me with a wedge shot in, so opting with the 52 degree again. And unfortunately caught that a little bit fat, so we came short of the green. But we're going to do a nice little chip to hopefully get up and down here with the 52 degree. And we've got on the green. Magnificent, man. So that chipping practice paying off. Can we keep the putting up? Oh, wow. Unfortunately, the putter misses quite far along there, but we tidy it up and rescue another bogey. It's rolling particularly fast today. Yeah. That's all right. Okay, first par three of the round, 162 meters. Took the seven iron at this one. Unfortunately, I hooked it off to the left. Pretty good distance, however. So the chipping practice from early in the round did absolutely nothing, apparently. I've duffed that and ended up short. So now putting from off the green, and yep, that's gone long. Gave it a chance though, uh, hopefully make this putt on the way back. Got very close, but just missed off to the left, so we're going to have to take that in for the first double of the round. Okay, par 4, 315 meters. You don't want to miss off to the left, which is what I've just done. <laughs> Unfortunate, so I'm going to take provisional here, hopefully hit this one down the middle. Uh, you don't have much space to go forward, so that's why we're opting with the iron here. And that one's gone straight. 48 green and a 9 iron. Thankfully, did manage to find it, however, not the best of lies. Just using the 48 degree to try and get out here. And cannot complain about that, we found right next to our back. Okay, so taking the 8 iron to try and get towards the green. Quite a few bunkers surrounding this green. So that's why I opted for the 8 iron to go long. Just missed it to be fair, and then choose the 60 degree to chip up and down here. And that one nearly rolled in. Again, there was no real stopping it short there. And we've given it a good effort, but we've just missed. But again, nice tidy double considering we nearly lost that ball. Not the worst outcome. Okay, driver back in hand for this par four, 352 meters, one of the hardest holes on the course. We have bunkers off to the right and a lot of fescue off to the left. Uh, you certainly want to place this one down the middle. And I just so happened to hit my best drive probably of the season. And we found the middle of the fairway in A1 position. Absolutely stoked with that one. Okay, so taking the 56 degree at this one, so going with a full 56 degree. And again, clean connection. Heading towards the green, actually catches the trees, which leaves it a little bit shorter than where it would have been. But you didn't want to miss off the back, so it might have been a blessing in disguise. Now we have a long putt. And this is where we've got questions with the greenskeepers. All of these pins are about a metre off the green with a massive downslope. Uh, so you really didn't want to go long there. That could have gone a long way down. Uh, so I've ended up coming short and got about five footer for par. 
First green and reg though, we won't complain. Taking our time over this part. Really want to A, sink it, but also B, don't want to go long. And unfortunately just missed off to the right, but we do make a bogey. Would have liked to come away with a par there, but we get away with a nice tap in bogey. So another par 4, 344 meters. Again, similar outcome as before. You don't want to miss left here. And I hit it massively out to the right and also kind of sliced it a little bit. Nearly ended up going OB to the right hand side, so across two fairways. Thankfully stayed in. Unfortunately I missed recording this one, but I ended up going long of the green. And again, just another case of look at this pin situation. It's criminal. Look, about a meter on flat and then it's downhill. And I've gone long, so I've got this massive putt off the back of the green. Which is very well weighted. That lag putting from earlier in the week really paid off there. And I've actually got an effort for par here. I'd fancy myself on this one last week. And unfortunately, I've missed that off to the left. That is a pretty poor putt. One of the shots that I really would have expected to be making. Unfortunately, you just don't make them all. First par five of the round, 459 meters. There is a bunker about 220 meters. So I want to try and get over that or to the right of it. Strike. Caught it a little low, but it just gets over that bunker to the left-hand side. So we're all good. So opted to go with the 9-iron just to lay up here, stay in the fairway. Oh, no. And I've hooked it off to the left and I've found yeah, myself in the rough. Quite unfortunate, but still not the worst case. Uh, so got the 52 degree at this one, so I'm about 100 meters away. And I've just pushed it slightly off to the right. Again, lots of bunkers surrounding. Oh, wow, a little short. And That's luckily nice. I just avoided going into that bunker just to the right hand side behind me there. So now another putt off the green. Again, that lag putting really paying off. And we managed to secure our first part of the round. And Alex was in that bunker for a long time. <laughs> Short par three, hole eight, 149 meters, two massive bunkers to the left. So we said it was good to miss short right. That's exactly what I did. And I've opted for the putter here. There's actually a lot of green to work with, but the pin was right at the front of the green. So I thought it'd slow up nicely. And unfortunately, I hit it just a little too short from being perfect. And again, that putt just off to the left, but we're going to walk away with a nice easy bogey. Okay, par four, driver back in hand. And you can see that I kind of rotated a little too early and I've hooked that right into the fixed stuff. Luckily, it was red stakes, so it was only just the penalty drop. And we take an eight iron, just gone up short. And managed to find a rabbit hole. <laughs> So yeah, taking a free drop of relief from that one, pretty sure that's valid. And I don't know what the hell that was, I think I hit it right off the toe. Considering how poorly I hit it, that's a pretty solid outcome. And then putting down the hill again, and again, great weight on that one. Unfortunately the camera ends up falling over, but we did make that putt in for double. Okay, so short par 4 now, after hooking that one to the left, just taking the 6 irons to lay up to give me either a 9-iron or a pitching wedge in. And end up hitting that one pretty flush right down the middle. So a fairway in regulation will take that and using the pitching wedge from about 120 meters. Very satisfying strike. I did need to hit this very well to get there. Unfortunately end up falling short into this bunker. Uh, so just want to get up and down, save a bogey here. And main thing is got out the bunker in one. Uh, Ted actually also managed to go into the bunker, so I tried to give him a couple of tips on where to hit the ball since he's not very experienced in bunkers. And unfortunately, sometimes the course isn't the place to practice. Uh, it just wasn't really committing to it, and then eventually he did get it out, to be fair to him. And now we're putting for par, and once again, pretty good weight on it, so we'll take that one, and we walk away with the easy bogey. And worked so well on the last tee, we kept it open for this one. Again, 309 meters, so not very long. More important to find safety rather than distance from the tee. So had an A time for the green here, so opted for the back distance. Hit that one pretty flush. There was bunkers off to the right, so we just made sure we came to the left-hand side. Again, great course management just off the green. 
Uh, so we're putting for a birdie off the green here. And that just moved off to the right, right at the end. So a nice gimme for the par. We'll take that. Never turn down gimmies, no matter what handicap you are. This is a very nice par three over the water now, uphill, 146 meters, so probably playing about 10 meters further. Dan set the standard by hitting an absolute dart right next to the pin, just off to the right. So I opted with the seven iron and I was slinging it a little bit and the wind is also going slightly to the left. And I just slung that right at the pin, landed just a little bit long and then rolled up the bank. Somehow didn't come down. That was unfortunate. So like it rolled up that bank and then managed to stop there. If that would have rolled back down nicely. I could have had a nice birdie effort like Dan had. And just tapped it to go down here. And as you can see, that's always going long unless it went in. Uh, so unfortunately missed, but we do tie it up for a nice easy par. Always nice to see two pars in a row on the course. Sticking with a six iron because there was hazards at about the 200 meter mark. So I didn't want to bring those into play. And it's a par five, so as long as you play it smart, it should be all good. And pipe that seven iron right down the middle as well. So we're in the fairway, perfect position right now. And going with the 56 degree, it did us well in the first instance earlier in the round. Can it deliver again? And I have bladed that into the water at the back. Sure, I'm not the only person to contribute to that fountain. Uh, but we take a drop, so just need to get up and down now to save a bogey. Unfortunately, we came a little oh, bit shorter than I would have wanted. Um, but we're due to get one of the putts in. And thankfully, we sink our first long one putter of the day. So saved a bogey there. So par 4, 370 meters. Don't want to miss left again. And there's bunkers off to the right. And I think that's the first time I've topped that for the whole round. So given my track record, that's pretty solid. So now 7 iron, just trying to stay down the middle of the fairway. Which I unfortunately hook into the trees. Hits the tree, gives me a glimmer of hope, but we did have to take a drop. And we're just going to play it smart again now. Just punch out into the middle of the fairway and give ourselves a wedge shot in. Going with the 52 degree here. Hit it pretty clean. Takes a bounce and hits the pin and bounces off to the left. That could have been quite something to rescue that one. So considering we've taken a drop, if we can make this part, it's not the end of the world. And unfortunately missed off to the left. So that is going to be our first triple of the round, but we did lose a ball on that one. So I guess it could have been worse. Uh, par three, 157 meters. And uh, made sure not to miss left, right. and I've hit a stinger off to the right hand side. Yeah. It's a bit of a raised green, so it's actually not too bad to miss off to the right, but I do have to chip over this bunker. I open oh, the face yeah, with the 60 yeah. degrees to try and land it and stick it next to the pin. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm in the bunker. But thankfully, just like last time, we've got out, but it has rolled out quite far, leaving us with a fairly long effort for bogey here. And again, the lag putting paid off got pretty close again in those situations you kind of just have to accept you've lost a couple of shots and you just need to make sure you get into the two putt and then hopefully you'll make up the shots on further holes down the line but yeah that's the one thing i'd say for us higher handicappers is don't get frustrated in the middle of the hole you're probably only going to make it worse get your head down and hopefully you can make the putt which on this occasion we did so walk away with a double you know a couple of bad decisions but ultimately good putting has saved that hole and par five, water off to the right. So just again, taking the six iron, which we've hit right down the middle. And again, a bit of an island green on this one. So we just gonna lay up again. On the par fives, when you can play it tactically, you really don't need to go distance. Just set yourself up nicely. Had a bit of wind, so went with the 48 degree at this one. Nearly chose my 52 degree. Thankfully changed it last second. And I've put that one very close. And we've given ourselves our first main chance at 30. That's why you just need to stay focused, uh, don't get frustrated, and good opportunities will come. Okay, so we've got a nice birdie putt here. Lots of practice the other week. I would have definitely backed myself to sink this one. Uh, certainly want to get it close. Again, look at that backdrop as well, absolutely perfect. And unfortunately, oh, I just no, pushed it off to the left. It. Didn't even give it a chance, but it is a tap in par. So at the start of every hole, if we get a tap in par, I'm taking that 10 times out of 10. So can't complain. Right, par 3, hole 17, 140 meters. 
anything short was fairly safe so didn't opt to go right at the back just went for the middle club actually ended up coming a little bit short which is fine we'll take that plenty of safety there had a long putt for off green again the lag putting is going to give me a chance here for par and looking back on the round really can't complain with the long distance putting today it's been pretty solid Unfortunately, we just miss on this one, but it's going to be a tap in bogey. So it takes us to plus 19 going on to the final hole. Again, a short par 4 to finish on, 282 meters. So sticking with the 6 iron. Unfortunately, it's let us down and we pushed it off to the right hand side. Ended up hitting a provisional because it was actually in some thick stuff. Uh, so now it's just a walk across the bridge in the hope that I could find that first ball because uh, otherwise that could be a score ruiner. Thankfully we found it, not in the best of positions. Uh, took the 52 of this just to hack it out there and hopefully get it into the middle of the fairway, which is what we did. Uh, the ball's just behind the camera to the left there, but wanted to get a good view of this one, hopefully hitting the green. And we ended up puring a pitching wedge and landed just long of the pin, but it sticks it onto the green. So we are going to have one final tempo part. Can we finish with plus 19? And again, look at that background, perfect day couple birds fly past and I've misread that horribly. Unfortunate putt to finish on. Uh, Ted ended up measuring out the distance and he was like yeah that's good 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 for everybody and we're gonna take that and finish the round. So we finished on a total of plus 20 so 90 overall and our handicap actually dropped from 17.8 to 17.4. So we are on our way to single digits slowly but surely. If you didn't see the first episode, it's over here on the left, and I'll catch you guys same time next week.